inflation, you probably you probably heard yesterday, inflation came in um, at, at a low, relatively low number. Uh, the CPI, consumer price inflation, that is this basket of goods that uh, the federal government uses to measure, uh, came uh, increased during the month of May by 0.1%. That is a, a, a very low rate. Uh, which means that the annual increase from 12 months ago to today, uh, to the end of May, was 4%. That is significantly below the highs that were achieved uh, late last year of, of 9.1%. So it's it's less than half of what we achieved at the peak of the inflation pressure. Uh, much of this is a consequence of, um, of, of energy prices declining, oil prices declining. They declined sharply. Uh, during the month, and as a consequence, that drove it down. So what they call core consumer price inflation that takes out food and energy, because food and energy are very volatile, that is still up 5.3% for the year and was up 0.4% uh, in the month. So a lot of prices that are not related directly to energy or to, um, or to food are still rising at about 0.4%. Uh, a month, the, the the Fed wants to drive that down to between, you know, to uh, between under 0.2 percent a month. Uh, so uh, so we'll see. So inflation is still there. Price inflation, a consumer price inflation, is still there. It's still significantly higher than what the Fed's target is, which is two percent. Uh, but it is coming down significantly. Although the core inflation is fairly stable over the last three months at around. 5.2, 5.3%. Um, it, it is interesting. Uh, Rob on the chat mentions eggs, but it seems like um, greed has been sucked out of the economy, uh, and particularly with regard to eggs. Uh, eggs uh, spiked up um, dramatically uh, last year and earlier this year, and uh, there was a lot of talk about uh, greedflation uh, that egg produces were inflating because they wanted to make a lot of money and they could and, and they were just exploiting all of us and they had this, quote, monopolistic power and just drove up prices and Elizabeth Warren and many people supported her coined this term of greedflation. Well, greedflation is gone. It, 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 the opposite is happening. We're having, I don't know, ultraflation, uh, which is deflation because the fact is that last month, oil egg prices, egg prices fell at the steepest rate since 1951, they fell something like 20-something 20, 20 percent in, in, in just one month. So uh, there we go. Uh, you know, we, we continue to track greedflation and continue to give you uh, the good news. Um, you know, inflation is this tricky number because different goods go up and down at different prices. As I said, oil has gone down, eggs have gone down, other fruits and vegetables have actually gone up. But again, CPI tries to capture some kind of average, a core CPI, some kind of average. Those are still high, particularly uh, the core, uh, higher than what one would like, higher than zero, which is what I would like, higher than 2%, which is what the Fed would like. Um, but it does suggest that the Federal Reserve today uh, will not raise interest rates, that we're probably uh, going into a period of the Fed pausing holding back and not raising interest. Uh, one other inflation number was reported today, which is the PPI, the producer price index. This, these are prices at the producer level in the supply chain. Uh, those prices actually fell uh, in May by 0.3%. And on an annual basis, they went up 1.1% in the year ending in May. So again, looks like inflationary pressures in the various parts of the supply chain have been uh, eliminated. Uh, if you believe in greed inflation, that means the end of greed. Uh, but if you, like, uh, like uh, me, believe that this is all caused by um, fiscal and monetary policy, by, by handing people money, well, the effect of the handouts is probably uh, adjusted prices. There's probably still some adjustment to be made, but ultimately, uh, ultimately, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, unless there's some massive addition to the money supply produced by the Fed. Um, we're probably uh, heading towards lower inflation. The fact that the Fed is stopping raising interest rates suggests that they might just pull off a what's called a soft landing. I've, I've been calling for a recession for years now. 
and it hasn't happened, and I still think there's going to be a recession, but now I'm starting to think, I guess there's a possibility it won't happen. I don't exactly understand why, but the U.S. economy is just super resilient, it, and, and, and the, the barriers to actually shrinking and to actually having a recession are high given this resiliency, and in a certain sense, the U.S. economy is just humming forward. Um, and, um, you know, good, good. I'd rather have it humming forward than a recession. Uh, so um, we might avoid a recession. I, I'm not calling, I'm, I'm not saying that's what will happen, but it might, it might. Um. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.